glad you called. I, uh, I'm trying to stop myself from coming over here. You know, I don't want to smother you or worse, try and fix things. I'm thinking about you all the time. How's, uh, how's Jocelyn doing? Good. I mean, you never know that she just had a kidney transplant. And... That's great. It's great I'm happy for her. Jason. Don't, Carly. I don't know how you're dealing with this. I don't know if I could deal with it. I just need to f focus on what needs to be done, okay? And that's why I, I called you over here. What happened? Okay, I don't want you to get crazy about this. No, right I want now. you to just... tell me what happened, and then I want you to let me handle it. You need to mourn your son. Michael, Michael didn't kill Abby's ex. And neither did I. The problem is Michael looks guilty. See, Brandon was threatening Michael with a court case that could send him back to prison, and Brandon has also been slapping Abby around. Michael must have been furious. Yeah, and, and once Abby dropped the attempted rape charges against Brandon, Michael decided he needed to be armed to protect her. Thank God you were in that alley to stop him. The point is, I have to prove that Michael's innocent by finding the real killer. You? You just lost your son. You need time to grieve. How many times do I have to tell you this? Jason, let Dante do his oh, job Come on, once. Dante, I'm not comfortable with leaving Michael's fate in Dante's hands again. Besides, a judge could decide that Dante has a conflict of interest, kick him off the case, leaving Michael back in the system. I'm not going to let that happen. Finding Brandon's killer protects Michael. And that matters. I just need to focus on Michael right now because the pain... The pain's too much. My son's dead. A kid I barely knew because I turned my back on him. That's not what happened. You gave Jake up to keep him safe. No, I didn't keep Jake safe, Carly. The kid wandered out of the house and got hit by a car. It had nothing to do with the job I chose over raising my son. It would have been a hell of a lot easier for you to tell everyone that Jake was your son and to be a part of his life. But you wanted Jake to have a normal life, so you gave him up. And you know what? He had a normal life because of you. So don't start doubting yourself now. You did right by your son. You did right by your son. Uh, we need to, uh, shift some personnel. Um, I need Max Milo off me for, uh, a special detail that's happening. Well, uh, you mind if I ask why? I was hoping you would ask that question. Um, th you don't, I don't even want to bother you with this Once right you now. Why don't you just let me decide what I can handle, and if I can handle it, I'll tell you. If I can't, I'll tell you. Okay, here's the thing. Um, so, literally, Suzanne comes to our doorstep and drops off a little boy. Says it's Brenda's son. Okay? She says that, you know, Brenda didn't lose her baby in Africa. Her baby was born uh, alive and healthy. She was making arrangements to get the, the, you know, the little boy adopted. The adopted parents died. So she brings the boy to us. His name is Lucian, and he's three years old. You trust this? I don't trust Suzanne as far as I can throw her. I need facts. But the thing is, Brenda's already fallen in love with a little boy. She's a, 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 like an instant mother. And I got, a, I got a stepson I didn't see coming. Max and Milo, they're, they're, they're the best choice. You know, they were always great with Michael and Morgan. So what I'll do, I'll take Vinny off the warehouse and he'll be your driver. Vinny's great, what about my house? And I'm, I'm thinking Richard and Sal for that. that. Is that good? Yeah, that, that's good. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. This is... Yeah. That's my job. Thanks. Sonny. Yeah. So you're just going to accept Suzanne's story? Well, you know, the facts fit, but I, I don't know at this point. It complicates everything. You think? I don't know how Brenda's going to feel raising a, a kid in this lifestyle. She's already questioning, you know, the extra bodyguards yeah, that I'm She doesn't get to here. question anything. I mean, this is what she signed on for. What, are you just going to give the kid away? Sorry.
No, I mean, you don't have to apologize. It just... You know, with Jake, um, you know, he was unexpected, and, and Elizabeth and I didn't plan on it, and I just, you know, I gave up. I walked away. I'm gonna make sure the guards work. I don't understand. These changes are effective immediately, Bernie, okay? Just do it, please, thanks. Hey. Any luck? Well, I spent the morning at Bonds talking to some of the girls who were dancing the night that Brandon was killed. I got a couple of vague descriptions on some of the customers that were there. I guess I'll just have to follow up later. Uh, well, can I, can I do that? I just, I'm just trying to keep busy right now. Yeah. Of course, okay. Um, I hope you can read my yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll get on this as soon as I finalize the new security detail. Well, that sounds like a threat. Uh, not this time. It, it turns out that Brenda didn't lose her baby after all. Suzanne gave her son up for adoption, and he's back with Brenda and Sonny. Are you kidding? No. That's why we're shifting guards around right now, and I just need to make sure this boy is protected. Thanks for. You know, the whole time I was, uh, was talking to Sonny about arranging security for, for Brenda's son, I was thinking, why didn't I do it for Jake? You know, I could have, I could have tried, but I just uh, let him go. Jason, you had a good reason. You know, it's just not like me, though, Sam. I keep going over and over things that I can't change. I just can't stop thinking about them. Hey. You suffered a terrible loss. It's only natural that you would start to question everything. But you made the right decisions for Jake. Jason, he didn't die because if anything you did or didn't do,